Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Leno56, and welcome to another episode of our Stationers playthrough on Mars. Um, this is actually going to be a redo video because my last one I uploaded and streamed did not actually record any sound. So, yeah, that was absolutely awesome. Um, we are going to do, I believe it's this save right here. Okay. Yeah, um, there was actually one person watching me in the stream who did not actually say anything about my uh, video not having any sound or anything. So uh, when I uploaded it, I got a few comments saying there was no sound. I went back into the video and there was indeed no sound. And I even tried the, uh, the Twitch stream that I had and that didn't record sound either. So I had to completely reset Twitch in order to get the sound to come back. So. Hopefully this video is a little bit better, but we are restarting the episode from the start. Um, on the plus side, I do know everything that I that I did, and we'll probably progress quite a bit faster, um, and we might even get a little bit more done than we did the first time. Um, so yeah, that was that was great. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab some water. All right, and if memory serves, uh, this place was starting to heat up quite a bit because of all the pressure in here. So what I'm going to do um, is actually vent some of the atmosphere in here. Because these wall coolers were going 24-7 in the original video I did, which was draining my battery. Also, I forgot that this wall is actually damaged. That's okay, though. Um, let's see. Let's eat this baked potato. But yeah, I'm not entirely sure what happened with our sound issue, but yeah, that, get, that was kind of depressing to, to hear. Or I guess to not hear, depending on how you look at it. Yeah, so we're going to vent this atmosphere. There we go. And then what we're going to do... I, I, I even went and mined ice and did all sorts of fun stuff. Um, one thing that we, we are going to do, though, is the solar panels up here... We actually did have a storm come through, and for whatever reason, our solar panels ended up getting damaged. I think it's because all the walls are facing the inside, they're not facing the outside, so the storm was still able to touch the solar panels. What I did is I placed a bunch of walls on the outside as well to see if that would actually stop the storm, and I didn't actually get the chance because we only had one storm come through. But if I remember correctly, it should come in about a day. So I want to actually get the walls or, or the windows around the solar panels to see if that actually stops the storm. Um, if memory serves, it's 49. But I have a wall up there, so 48 um, walls is what I need. <clears throat> yeah, it's kind of... It's kind of sad that I lost all that progress because it was about two hours worth that I lost. But on the plus side, I know exactly what I'm doing, so it should go a lot quicker this time around. Um, I actually got quite a bit done in the episode before I realized that there was no sound. Uh, I got... I'm going to let those walls get made. But basically everything that I did that I'm going to do this episode extremely fast is I got a bunch of monitors placed up here so we could monitor the pressure and the temperature in these gas tanks so we'll do that this episode we actually built this airlock right here and we pressurized this room which I'm going to do this episode as well so and then hopefully since I know exactly what we're doing and how to do it we should progress a little bit further than I originally did but yeah it was a uh, kind of sad that I lost all that progress but Oh well. <laughs> Alright, so let's just start grabbing these walls and... Do I have any plastic sheets? I just have one. I'm just throw that there. <coughs> but yeah, it was a little sad. Alright, I don't actually have a wall here, so maybe I need the actual... Actually 48. Hmm. So let's do this. I don't know if this is going to um, keep the storm from damaging our solar panels or not, but 
it was actually kind of depressing that I placed all these walls and windows to keep the storms from damaging the solar panels to find them damaged. So, yeah, that's okay though. Hopefully this will fix it. I do believe the storm um, comes uh, tomorrow. So when the sun rises, we have about a full day before this before the storm hits. And I'm pretty. I thought I had another wall up here. Maybe I didn't. I'm going to kind of rush through all this because this is the second time I've done all this. Okay. <clears throat> Plus I'm more curious than anything to see if this will actually keep our solar panels from getting destroyed. I believe I need one more because I thought I had a wall, but maybe I, maybe I didn't. Hmm. I might. Oh, there it is. I knew I had a wall somewhere. I mean, I might as well wait for those. So let's do a stack of uh, plastic. I have one plastic here, so we'll do. We don't want forty-eight. Let's do 25. All right, so now we'll do plastic sheets. You guys can hear me because I would really want to do this a third time. I've I did a bunch of tests and I was able to hear um, on the test videos I did. So hopefully this one you guys can actually hear me. All right, this is actually going pretty quick. So we'll take these out and I'll start placing these uh, plastic sheets on our walls here. Okay. Oh, come on. And then if memory serves, I need 49 uh, pieces of glass. And for 49, I believe I need, uh, I need more silicone, which I don't have any, so I'm gonna have to make more. So let's turn this off for now. We'll place our plastic sheets and then I'll smelt a bunch of silicone to uh, make some glass. This one's done. We'll do that one, that one, that one. I believe all the uh, plastic pieces around our base is good now. Okay, so now we just need 49 pieces of glass, and then we'll see if this actually stops the. Uh, the storm from damaging our solar panels. I was actually really surprised when I went in there and looked and our solar panels were damaged. So one, two, three. We'll do, f we'll do 200. There we go, okay.
All right, let's turn this down right now. We'll just let this uh, eat up all this ore. There we go. Okay. And then I'm going to... Oh, man. At least... I mean, I know exactly what to do. It's just demoralizing a little bit. Come on. There we go. Okay. And we'll vent all that. We'll grab this. Alright, so if memory serves, I need 49, which means... I could just do an even 100, honestly. Yeah, so we'll just do... Oops. We'll just do 100. So we'll just do 50 pieces of glass. Because I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna use the glass anyway, so I, I don't mind making uh, 50 pieces of glass. All right, so we'll throw this stuff in here, because I do know a storm is coming here pretty, pretty soon. All right, so now that that is doing what it needs to do, I can grab gold, copper, and see. And I also need iron. We have a console there. Let's see, where's the iron? There's the iron. Oops. So I need 15 consoles if I remember correctly. How's everything else doing so far? So far, so good. Uh, it's mainly just the... And then I also um, decorated the inside of our atmospheric space a little bit. I put in some cladding up on top, and I could actually see quite a bit. It actually reflected the light quite nicely, so you could actually see. Um, yeah, and I kind of just made our atmospheric room a little bit better. Uh, in terms of consoles and the ceiling and then I got a I pressurized our main base a little bit it's kinda of funny what I originally did which I'll avoid doing this episode but oop I need more gold so we almost got as much everything that we needed All right. So let's go smelt some gold, um, and then I'll I'll start putting these. So for these consoles, what I did is I placed them like this. Alright, so I need one, two, three, four, I need five more. Okay, so let's grab some gold. Alright, so we'll smelt this. We'll make a couple more consoles. Actually, what I need is I need to actually place those windows before that storm hits. That's good enough. There we go. Okay, perfect. So we'll place that there. And let's place these windows now. Power critical. Okay, I'll take care of it. We're going to do the outside first before I do the top. Okay, now we now we can do the top.
All right, I think that was it. Yeah, because I have one more piece of glass, so yeah, we should be that should be 49. Okay, I think we're good class-wise. All right, and just on cue, there's the storm coming. So if my theory is correct, that should not damage our solar panels. I guess we'll find out. All right, so we'll do this. Let's turn this back on, and I need five more consoles. Oh, actually, I need two more consoles. There's three in here already. So one... Perfect. Okay. So we'll do that. And then I'm going to need some more glass. I'm also going to need some uh, some copper for the um, for the circuit boards. And then I'm also going to need quite a bit of copper for the cable too. All right. So good thing I have three stacks of copper in here. Okay. And what I'm also going to do, which I did uh, in the episode, was I'm going to place some stairs right here. I think I placed three stairs if I remember correctly. Oh, I forgot to smoke the uh, copper. <coughs> Alright. There we go. Alright, so I think what I'm going to do first is let's get rid of... Uh, I don't think I need the iron in here. Let's do... Gas display. I think it's just... Oh, iron, gold, and copper. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to make some stairs and place the stairs down so if the storm hits I can get up and down without having, to, having it an issue. And it looks like our power just died so let's swap this battery out. There we go. Alright. So the storm should be hitting here pretty soon. And then I'm going to start making some insulated piping and, and everything. And I need to make some more steel frames for our pressurized base, uh, base over there. Two down, one to go. Alright, and then we'll do this. We'll turn this off, and I need 16 of these. Oh, I turned it off, dang it. <coughs> so what we're going to do is I'm going to place this stuff in here to kind of clear my inventory a little bit. Three. Four. We'll make one more. And then I also need some gold before I can make the other one. I also need to make some more glass too. But we're going to do this. I place the stair right here. Alright, there we go. And then because I have this display, I'm going to actually place this in there before I... Uh, Hydration critical. There we go. Okay. So we'll do this. All right. So now when the storm hits, we'll we'll still be able to get up and down here. So perfect. All right. So I need to make some more circuit boards. I think I need what six. Two, four, six, I need ten more. 
if my math is right. No, I need... Because it's what, eight on each side? So that's one... That, I, I need nine more. We should have another piece of gold in here. Yep. <coughs> Alright, there we go there. And then I need 16, well, 15 pieces of glass and a bunch of uh, copper. Okay, hang on a sec. So let's do this really quick. Alright, and then we'll grab this. Oh, seed. Sweet. And then I was going to place um, a fridge in here, but I don't want to drain our power too much, so I'm just going to keep the locker in here for now. Alright, we are full on baked potato. Alright, we're going to vent this atmosphere as well. Place that there. Uh, I need, what was it, nine more circuit boards? Come on, let's make these before... Uh... Alright, and I needed uh, 15. Oh no. Alright, stop. Uh, so that's six, two, four, six, seven, eight. Dang it, those are all damaged too. Oh well. Um, so we'll place one in our uniform here. So I need two more. Now I need one more. There we go. Okay. 15 glass sheets. Can I place one more? I can't. Okay, so we're just going to do this. Then this is the reason why I made the stairs here. So I can go up and down without having to try to use the jetpack. <clears throat> okay. It doesn't really matter that they're damaged. There we go. Alright, now I need the 15 pieces of glass. Oh god, it's so hard to see. Alright, so we have one piece of glass here. The storm is pretty intense. Okay. There's that. Let's go place these. And then I also need some cable coil. Um... And this kind of makes me half tempted to maybe pressurize this room. But because of this furnace, I don't know if I want to do that because then it'll get extremely hot in here. Okay, eight down, eight to go. Alright, perfect. So now I need to wire these up. Um, I need some copper. 
So we'll do... Oh no! We'll do two copper for now, or uh, two stacks of copper. I'm not gonna need that much cable, but oh well. So let's do... We'll do this. I'm extremely anxious to see how our, um, our solar panels are doing up there. Hopefully they're okay. Alright, now let's turn that off. Oh, no, no, no. Got it. <laughs> Alright. So we have our copper. Alright, now we're going to go up here. I don't really want to split this right now, so I guess what I can do... Because I have 10 pieces on me currently. We'll just do this. So I'll, I'll just make like 40 pieces of a uh, cable coil. And I'm not going to uh, split it because then it'll blow away and get damaged and I don't want to do that. So So that puts us at 30, or just about 30. And honestly, that's probably plenty. Yeah, that's probably fine. Wow, it got slightly damaged. Interesting. All right. So let's go wire this up. And I'm probably going to need even more than this because I have to wire up these tanks too. Completely forgot about the tanks. Alright. There's that. Okay. That's those. Okay, perfect. So now I just need to wire this up properly. Oops. So we'll do... There we go, okay. Now let's grab this cable coil, we'll grab our wire cutters and we will We'll do this. Ah, uh, we're just a little short. Okay, so let's go grab some more. Uh, cable coil this is a long storm holy cow I forgot how long this storm was all right one two three four I'm not gonna count at all probably turn that off since I'm not really using it yeah these solar panels aren't looking too good but that's fine so now we're just kind of waiting for the storm to pass and also for these uh, cable coils to get made <coughs> That, that should be probably plenty, I'm hoping. I 
I'm extremely anxious to see how our solar panels are doing up there. I really hope they're okay. I think that was the last one, yeah. I really like how the cable just looks like it's just along the floor like that. That looks so good. Like, even though you can't really see it because of the severe wind and dust, but... Alright, so one side down, one more side to go. I probably don't even need to remove that one. Oh, I think the storm finally passed. Okay, so let's see how our solar panels did. If my theory is correct, they should not be damaged. If they are damaged, I don't know what, what we're going to do. Okay, so they are damaged. Huh. See, that makes no sense to me. I have no idea why these solar panels are damaged. Because as far as I can tell, they should not be damaged right now. I'm definitely going to have to figure that out because I shouldn't have to make heavy solar panels, but I guess if I do, I do. And I shouldn't have to do this either, but... I wonder if they were damaged before and I just didn't notice it or something. I'm going to have to test that out a little bit and see why these solar panels took damage because I thought they were supposed to be okay within um, an enclosed area. And I don't know if it's this door being open. That shouldn't do it. I'm also going to have to repair the solar panels down there too. Well, that's kind of interesting. I'll, I'll have to figure out what's going on there. But in the meantime, let's do this. And I think for this one, I did it like this, and I just... Just did it like that, yeah. Okay. Oops. That's right. This one's just going to go like this. There we go. Okay, I think they're all connected up properly now. Yeah, I seriously thought that was going to work with the uh, with the um, the glass panels on the outside like that. So I'm not sure what the deal is with those solar panels, but in the meantime, I should probably fix the solar panels on our starter base. Yeah, once my main base is all set up properly, I'll probably just destroy these solar panels and dismantle them. And then hopefully I can figure out how to keep those, those ones from taking damage, but... go. 
All right, so I need to swap this battery out. go we'll do that we'll grab this and then we'll put these solar panels on and that should um, help with our power because when the solar panels take damage they don't uh, produce nearly as much power Okay, so the solar panels should be fixed up. We should be good there. Um, yeah, not sure. Uh, I'm gonna have to run a couple of tests to see how to keep those solar panels from getting damaged. So hopefully we can figure that out. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, wire up these consoles here. So first things first, let's We'll do water tank, volatiles tank, pollutant tank. And this will just be, let's just do furnace tank. Oxygen tank. Nitrogen tank, um, nitrous oxide tank, and then last but not least, carbon dioxide tank. All right, and then now what we should be able to do is we'll grab our data disk. And we'll program all these guys. Furnace tank. Oxygen tank. All right, perfect. So that's the that's the pressure in there, and that's the temperature in this in this tank right here. So that is actually amazing. All right, and this is nitrogen. And apparently I forgot to wire this one up. Really, I, that should be a tool. There we go, okay. So this is gonna be nitrogen tank and temperature. And this is nitrous oxide pressure, nitrous oxide temperature. Man, I just got way too excited apparently. There we go. Yeah, apparently I just got way too excited. All right, so this is gonna be carbon dioxide. One, two, three, four, carbon dioxide, temperature. Okay, so that side's done. Did I wire all this up properly? Who knows? This is water. One, two, three, four, five, what? No, that's volatiles. There it is. All right, water. So there's no water in there. This one's volatiles. All 
One, two, three, four, five. Temperature. This one's pollutant. I don't think we have any pollutant either, if I remember correctly. And then this one is interesting, if I re remember, because uh, it's all of our furnace gas. Wait, what? Oh, advanced furnace. We need... Oh, it's all, it's all the way at the top. Okay. Alrighty. So there we go. So we have about 4 MPA of pressure in here and about 1,067 degrees Celsius. So that is quite warm. Alright, so all that's done. Now I'm going to make the cladding um, and paint it white and then place it on the top or on the ceiling and this will be pretty close to how I had it before uh, the last episode or my previous video just completely failed apparently but first things first let's grab our water and take care of ourselves alright perfect Let's eat some food. All right, we're good to go. I'm gonna vent this atmosphere out as well. So now let's grab, I believe I need iron if I remember correctly. All right, and it's 25. Well, I guess I could do 26. No, we'll do 25 for now. Then we're going to grab this piping and I'm going to have to make quite a bit more piping as well. So let's see here. Where's all of my, uh, where's all my silicone at? I think this happened last episode too. I lost all my silicone and uh, steel. I mean, it's, it's not like I don't have any, but I thought I made like a hundred of it. There's the steel. I think I used up all the silicone. Huh. Interesting. Alright, so what we're going to do first is we're going to paint one of these. And we're going to kind of do what we did with the pipe. Oops, actually we want to drop this one and place it here. There we go. All right, turn this off and we can actually see quite well. And then I think if memory serves, I did color code our um, filtration machines and then I color coded the, um, the, the consoles as well. So we'll do that really quick. So we have gray, 
gray, gray, black, black, black. All right, then we have blue. I believe I did paint this blue too. So I need red, yellow, and green for paint. I could probably do orange too. Red, yellow, green, and orange. <coughs> and actually, what we're gonna do first is go grab a bunch of silicone, make a bunch of that, and make a, quite a few pipes. <coughs> <coughs> So this will make what five stacks? It's quite a bit. All right. There we go. Okay. So we'll make five stacks of pipes. We'll just throw all this in here for now. So you know what I could do is I could start working on... Um, well, it doesn't really matter. Alright, so five stack of pipes and then... Paint is what I was going to do. Okay. So check, uh, check, I have that already, so we need a green. Um, we'll do orange. We'll do red. And I needed one other color, which I believe was yellow. paint anything <laughs> so we'll do orange orange I'm not gonna paint that I don't think yellow 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 let's put these two here and then we'll do red and green oops green 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 red 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 okay the only thing I didn't do in the, in the original video was paint these orange. I think I kept those white, but let's see how this looks. That actually looks really good. I really like that. I normally, I wasn't going to place a ceiling, but I kind of like the way it looks. It looks a lot cleaner and I can always, you know, take the cladding off in order to get to the pipes and stuff. All right, so speaking of pipes, let's start working on our piping. So we're going to get rid of that. Two, three, four. And then I'm going to do a T-junction here because there's going to be an active vent right there. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so let's go grab some more stacks of pipe. Oh, geez, there's a few of them here. That's good, though. Yeah, so, all right. And then what we'll do is this is going to be orange anyways. So we'll do orange. Let's grab this red pipe. Two, three, four, five. And then last but not least, we'll do yellow. And this will be our um, pollutant slash coolant pipe. All right, so the piping is there. Let's place this. 
All right, perfect. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some steel and place the ceiling. We're going to place some walls and then I'm going to pipe all this out and get this part taken care of. So I should probably just make some more steel. One, two, three. There we go. Alright. Yeah, so this is kind of how it looked in the original video too. Hopefully you guys can hear me though this time. Power critical. Uh-oh. Good thing I have infinite power over here. Wait, what? Oh, I have to probably turn this down. There we go. Okay. All right. So now what we'll do is we need 25, so 50. <coughs> Alright, so, and the sun is just about to rise it looks like. Oh, we have so much piping. I love it. All right, so that's that. Let's grab this steel. I'm going to need 19 walls, if I remember correctly. So this is for the walls. And then I'm going to need plastic, which I'll get plastic later. All right, perfect. So now we're just waiting for these steel sheets. So what I'll do in the meantime is because I already know how I laid this out because of the last video, I'm gonna um, pipe all this out before I even place the, the, the ceiling. All right, so how this is gonna work is we're gonna have a wall cooler right here which will go like this. Um, we're gonna place, let's see. Yeah, this is gonna go like this. Yeah, cause we're gonna have an active vent right here that sucks in all of our air. And then this is gonna, um, pressurize our base so it's going to be constantly um, filtering our air for us all right so let's grab that and then if memory serves i have to have a t-junction here which is what i did in the last episode well actually i don't actually need that right there do i I forgot, I can use, um, I can use this. Yeah, and then I can actually not have that. We'll do that. There we go. Two, three, four, five. All right, so there's that. I believe that's all the piping. Oops, my uh, battery just died again. There we go. All right. So I believe that's pretty much the piping done in this area right here. Um, I'm gonna have rooms off to each of these sides, which I'll I'll extend the piping out this way, and then I'll just uh, feed pipe 
off bit into the individual rooms with what I need. So that's kind of my plan here so far. All right, so now let's grab the steel frames that hopefully are done. All right, so here's these. Let's throw this in there. These are gonna be walls, okay. <laughs> and then if memory serves, I do have some steel sheets as well, okay. Let's throw that here. Wait, I have nine floor grading there? <coughs> hmm. All right, so let's actually uh, do some of these steel sheets. Yeah, it was kind of funny in the last video or in the original video that I did, I accidentally hooked our um, oxygen pipe up to our nitrogen here. And when I pressurized this room, I pumped in a bunch of nitrogen and it took me a while to figure out why I was actually suffocating. But yeah, I eventually fixed it and now it doesn't really mean anything considering I had to completely re redo the video. Okay, so our walls should be done here. All right, so let's grab, I need some, I need to make more silicone. Uh, let's actually turn this off while we're not using it. All right, I have a piece of plastic here. And I think I have another piece of plastic up here too. I do, there it is. Okay, so now for the walls. So window, wall, wall, window. I guess I could have been making the steel sheets, but I completely forgot about it. All right, so now what do I need? I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So fourteen steel for plastic. Oh no, I need fourteen steel uh, sheets. Wow. Fourteen steel that makes twenty-eight steel sheets. Wow, my math is way off apparently today. All right, so. This. No, nope, it's steel sheets is what I need. <laughs> All right, and now what else do I need to make now? Um, I'm gonna have to make more wall, but I can start making the active vent and every and the active vents and stuff. Where's my iron? It's our, no, that's steel, steel. Wait, where? Where'd my iron go? I had like 200 plus iron. Hydration critical. Oh, it's in here. All right, so let's throw 
I need to, I need to throw everything in here. All right, so let's take care of our uh, our immediate needs first. All right, the temperature is still extremely hot in here, so I'm not sure what's going on. And then in the last episode, I forgot that I placed a couple of uh, tomatoes here, and <laughs> that sounds hilarious. Sounds so wrong at the same time, though. All right. All right, so you're done. Okay, and then I threw everything I needed in here. So let's do some vents. I believe I need two walls. All my steel's in here, isn't it? So I need two walls, which is two steel. take care of that all right so let's take care of our air tank really quick and right, so there's eight MPA in there there we go all right, I think I have everything I need well sort of <coughs> we go perfect all right so active vent there active vent there and then the passive vents I'll probably just do like this all right and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take oh I need I need two more active vents don't I Yeah, because this is going to run up like this. And then I'm going to have an active vent right here, and then we're going to do the same thing on this side. There we go. Okay. So that's the piping done in here. Now, I guess what I can do is I can finish uh, these frames. is going to run out here pretty quick. I wonder if I can get, can get these last three welded. Yep, there we go. Perfect. Alright, so we're going to replace this battery for a minute. There we go. Okay. So I think this is all welded up, so that's good. Let's throw this steel sheet in here. I need two more active vents, um, a couple of wall heaters, a couple of wall coolers, 
A um, couple of cents. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to need a few things. And then I'm also going to need some plastic and some uh, glass. So I need more silicone. One, two, three, four. Let's just use the rest of it. Might as well. There we go. How much iron do we have in here? 34 stacks of iron. That's so much. Yeah, our temperature is dropping quite a bit in this uh, tank. I'll, I'm, I'm about to figure out a way to, to um, heat it. One more to go. All right. All right, perfect. Three hundred silicon. So I need nine. No. 17 glass is what I need, so I need 34. This is going to be the glass. <coughs> so we need 34 glass sheets. All of this is going to get thrown in here for now. Again. <coughs> All right. So now, while we're waiting for that, I need to actually put some of this stuff away. I don't actually need all this right here. There we go. All right. So we'll do wall coolers. We need two of these. We need two wall heaters. Okay, let's do some sensors. I'm gonna get two of these as well. Okay, and then I believe that's everything I need from here. Alright, so now what I'm going to need, let's see how are you, alright, so you're done. Let's do some consoles. What I'm going to do first is put this piece of steel sheet away, because I don't actually need it. And I need two, four, six, eight, plus seventeen. It's 8 plus 17, 37, 35. It'll be at me 32, 4, 6, 8, 4. Yeah, we'll, we'll just do 40 uh, plastic sheets. There we go. Okay. So we'll do a couple of consoles. <coughs> couple of consoles I need a couple of transformers which now I need gold all right yeah we're actually progressing quite a bit faster than I did in the original video so this is good
All right, so we'll put this in here. Let's grab our wall heaters and wall coolers. We'll do that. We'll grab our sensors. I'm just going to throw one right. Well, actually, I don't think I'm going to place it right there. I think I'd rather place a console there, maybe. It doesn't really matter, honestly. Alright, so this will be for air control in our main base here. And then this will be uh, for the airlock. <coughs> and you know what I forgot to make? The other two active vents. Oh well, and then I'm going to need a couple of transformers and I'm going to have to make some heavy cable and some non-heavy cable and I'm going to need quite a few things here. Oops, let's get rid of that. We'll do this. How much gold do we have in here? Eh, we do have some gold on me. So we should be okay. There we go. Okay. So now... Oh, I had plenty of copper. <laughs> Let's do this. I'm going to get all this stuff out of here so I can make exact uh, stuff. So I need 10, 1, and 3. So we need to what, 10 iron, well actually 20 iron, because I'm, I'm going to make two of them. So 20 iron, 2 gold and 6 copper. So 6 copper and 2 gold, there we go. So that'll make exactly two of those. And then I need to make a couple of active vents as well. So I need 10, 2, 10. So 10. So 10, 10, and all right and now I think what I'm gonna do is make a bunch of um, Power low. yeah we'll make a full stack of cable coil alright so now that we're doing that let's go put this stuff away or not put it away, but ooh, I need to I need to grab our plastic too before I forget. There we go. I forgot that you can go in third person. So we want active vent here, active vent there. Um, the transformer I'm going to place right here. And then I'm also going to place another transformer. It doesn't really matter where, but I'll probably place it right there like that. Okay. So. 4,900. That's 100 watts short of... Um, 5,000 because I think the cables burn out at 5,000 if I, if I remember correctly alright so heavy cable heavy cable do that can't go in there alright 
And then I just need a bunch of uh, normal cable in order to wire all this up. And then we'll do the same thing over here. All right, and then I also need a little bit more heavy cable as well. So we're almost, we're, we're getting, we're getting there. All right. All right, so I'm not gonna put the plastic on these walls yet. I wanna get these all wired up first. But what I will do is I'll place, um, I guess I could place the windows right now. So the windows are placed, so once I get the plastic sheets on these walls, um, I also need a couple of doors before, before I forget too. <coughs> Alright. <coughs> Alright, so we should have plenty of cable, I'm hoping. Um, let's grab... So we're gonna make a stack of heavy cable as well. And then what else do I need? I, I need doors. What do I need for doors? I think it's just iron and copper if I remember correctly. Yeah, seven iron and three copper. So iron and we need what, six copper? All right, so that'll make exactly two doors, and we're making quite a few cable coil now. All right. I wonder how our temperature's doing in here. So those are still going on full time, so that's kind of concerning. All right, so that's done. Uh, I believe I need plastic and some glass, if I remember correctly, for these doors. Oops, wrong one. We'll grab you. Throw you in there. And I believe it's two glass per door, if I re remember correctly. be fine for a little bit. All right. So now let's grab the welder. All right, perfect. So this is looking quite good in here. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start wiring this up. All right, so we're gonna do that. And then I'm just kinda... Alright, let's turn this on and the doors should be powered now. Oh yeah, that, that's great. So this area should be wired, so now what we're going to do is we're going to place our walls. And then I'll need to place a uh, piece of cladding up here, but that's fine. 
And then I'll also need to grab our airlock and yeah, that looks pretty good. All right. So now what we're going to do is I need to grab, I have to go all the way around, don't I? <laughs> Alright, perfect. So now, when I turn that on, we'll do this. So we'll come around like that, and then this one's gonna come around the wrap around the ceiling. I'm gonna need more uh, cable coil. All right. Yep. I'm gonna need a little bit more cable coil, and then I'm gonna need an air control. A, a uh, advanced airlock and a couple pieces of glass to get all this set up. <coughs> all right. And then what we're also gonna do is uh, take care of our our needs because it's. Uh, really annoying hearing that beeping the whole time. Alright, why is your temperature going up in here? Yeah, because these aren't actually doing anything. It's just staying warm in here. It's actually increasing in temperature. 37. I guess what I could do is just... Uh, I'll figure it out. Okay. I have a feeling there's too much uh, air in here, though. I don't know. So what if I just do this for a minute and just let the uh, the cool air go in there? I'll wait until those uh, things turn off. The wall coolers. But I also don't want to overdo it because last time I did that, we uh, blew out our window. Well, hopefully that'll help a little bit. All right, so we'll place our thing right back there. Okay. Now what we'll do is we will place our cable coil. Alright, so let's do this. Oh, and I forgot to actually make the other things I said I was going to make. Oh well. I can make them really quick. We only need that one there, and then I can place something there if I have to. 
Okay, so this should be wired up now. So now what we're going to do is we'll place these walls, and now this room becomes pressurized. Well, sort of. So I need an air control, I need a couple of pieces of glass. And before I forget, let's actually swap our batteries out here. Alright, so I need two pieces of glass um, and an air control chip. I should already have an advanced airlock. Yeah, I do. Air control. So I need five gold and five copper. Okay. So five. Oops. What, what am I doing? Perfect. And then last but not least, I need the advanced airlock and I don't know, I think that's all I need. <coughs> oh, this is air control. And this one is the advanced airlock. Alright, so we'll grab our data disk, place it in here, turn this on, perfect. So I'm just going to do 0 KPA for both of these, it doesn't really matter. Um, let's do, that's, we want this as interior and this is exterior. Exterior check, interior. This is the exterior vent, this is the interior vent, and then the sensor. Okay. Cycle to exterior. Alright, perfect. Cycle to interior. Alright, so now we should be able to pressurize this base, or the, this room. So let's do, this is going to be outward, this is going to be inward. Yeah, so this one needs to be outward sensor inward um, we want to draw it hmm, that's a little bit chilly can we breathe temperature low low pressure oxygen low oxygen critical All right, so let's make, I, I believe it's oxygen that's coming. Yep, it is. We're almost out of it now. Low pressure. Temperature low. But we are, low. but uh, this is oxygen here, so we should be pressurized. And then I, I can go and grab a bunch of um, oxide and oxygen and uh, pump it in here. So this is about where we were in the last episode before I, uh, and it ended it and then found out that our sound didn't actually record so hopefully we, we don't have that issue right now that would be absolutely terrible and my dog just freaked out on me hang on one second cash stop all right hang on one second
Sorry about that. I had someone come to my door. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, here we are. So um, now I think what I want to do is I'm going to make some logic so we can start heating this place up. But I also don't want to overdo it, mainly because of our solar panels up, or up here. I don't want to accidentally run out of power. I think we're doing fine on power. Ooh. So that's getting a little bit low, but we are... I'll probably have to make some more solar panels, but that's fine. So let's see here. Oh, we do have pressure in there, so that's good. And this all looks great, so I think we're doing... We're doing pretty good. I'm going to get a piece of cladding up here, and I do want to weld these uh, these frames here, too. So let's do that really quick. <coughs> okay, so I think I just need one piece of cladding. How does CL mean recycler? That doesn't make sense. I guess recycle CL for recycler, but whatever. Um, I need steel. Wait, how many steel sheets do I have? I have one. I need... So we'll do two, because I need two steel sheets, or four steel sheets. Two iron, four steel sheets. There we go, okay. So there's that, perfect. Let's see, I don't think there's anything else I need as of right now. I think what I'm gonna do next once the sun rises is, is I'm gonna go mining and grab some oxide and some um, water and ice and stuff. So let's do this. Perfect. Alrighty, that looks good. I mean, that right there doesn't look great because of the uh, the frame, but I'm going to end up moving this locker. So now, what we're going to do is I believe I need the angle grinder. Oops. Yeah, I need to do that. Okay. Perfect. All right, this is this is looking good. This is looking absolutely amazing. This is this is great. So let's go and mine some oxide and some ices. Since since just about um, daytime. <coughs> If I remember correctly, I did this um, in the original video. There was a bunch of it, yeah, right here. Okay, so there's that. Okay. I'm going to get a, a few stacks so we have more than enough oxygen. What I can also do is place some active vents um, and have it feed into our filtration system so we can just use the Martian atmosphere as well. Alright, so let's go a little bit in farther because we did have some oxide um, in this cliff side right here which I don't think there's any more so we'll dig out the remaining oxide here and then we'll go and grab some actual water because I think my water is getting low too alright there we go
All right, so a little bit of bauxite. I do want to mine this um, ice over here, though. Because there's, I think there's a, quite a bit of it in this uh, node or this deposit. Yeah, we already got like two stacks of it. All right, there we go. Let's grab some more, because why not? Yeah, I don't really mind going out and mining ices. Um, mining a bunch of uh, resources it was kind of getting old. All right, um, I don't really want to mine anything too close to my base is the only thing. <coughs> Let's see here. What do we have over here, if anything? All right, so we have some more oxide right here. There we go. Okay, perfect. So we got about three stacks of uh, oxide, so that should be plenty. Um, I'm going to put one stack of ice um, in our water system over here, and then I believe the rest of the oxide I'm just going to throw in our uh, filtration system. Uh, let's actually put this away. So we'll put a stack of water in here. Oh yeah, there we go. All right, and then the rest of these, um, the rest of this ice, I'm gonna throw in our ice crusher here. There we go. I love it when stuff works. It's great. Yep, and there's our filtration system working. So it's uh, once this hits 500 kPa, these uh, filtra fil filtration systems turn on to filter out our uh, our gases. <laughs> All right, perfect. So let's see here. So it is all going in, into our base here. Still going, so let's see how much pressure we actually have in here. Well, about f temperature is low. Temperature is low, but you know what? It's fine. But we are able to breathe in here, so this is great. This is awesome. So now I think what I want to do is check out our solar panels <coughs> and make sure that those are still providing enough power for us. Oh yeah, those are still, that's still a full battery almost. I really wish I could figure out why these solar panels took damage. They should not take damage at all. I don't think I missed a window or anything. I'm going to have to run a couple more tests and stuff too to see exactly what's going on here because I that, that they shouldn't have taken damage. So I'm, I'm not entirely sure what happened, but 
I think what I'm gonna do next is I wanna actually set up proper heating but I feel like I need to get more solar panels because if I do too much this battery is not going to be able to hold it and I might even have to think about getting another battery too I might have to get a couple more batteries yeah so maybe that's what I'll do next I'll uh, work on our power up there see how much do we have in here 27 I have a bunch of copper but let's see five gold 20 copper 15 steel so this will make 10 so this will make 10 so if I get two stacks of iron or not iron but copper that'll make 10 and then I believe I probably have enough steel all right, so we'll do this. Oops. All right, so this should make 10 more solar panels. All right. And I have quite a bit of stuff in there, so. And then steel 15 times 10 is 150. Wait. Five. Yeah, because I, I have enough copper for five solar panels, not ten. <coughs> I guess I could do ten because I have another. Ooh, I do have another hundred copper here. Yeah, so I, I can actually make um, I can actually make ten solar panels. Okay, yeah, so we'll we'll do that because that'll double that power output over there. All right, sweet. So that'll make 10 solar panels, and then I also need 10 pieces of glass. Okay. And then I also want to make a battery too, but I'm going to uh, make these solar panels first. <clears throat> All right, so those are done. So let's grab these pieces of glass and then we'll wait for this one solar panel to finish and then I'll uh, start laying everything out and then hopefully that by then these, these ones will be done. And let's actually do this next. <coughs> Alright, so it's actually 24 degrees in here. So it's actually fairly uh, pretty good. Growing poorly towards seeding. Why? I mean, I'm not going to question it. There we go. Perfect. There we go. All right. Where do you guys at? Two more. Might as well wait now. There's only one more to uh, to build. <coughs> All 
Uh, I hope we have enough cable. We should. We think. All right. And done. Perfect. And then what I'll probably do is I'll get a, uh, at least one more uh, stationary battery up here too. So let's do this. Let's grab our cable coil. One, two. Okay. Okay, so now we should have enough. <coughs> All right, perfect. That's five down, five to go. All right, perfect. Except now I'm might be kind of stuck in here. I just have to wait for the uh, solar panels to move up just enough for me to uh, slip through here. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is once I s can start making advanced metals, I'm going to start making um, like heavy solar panels just so I don't have to do this dome. Since apparently the dome didn't work to protect anything, which is kind of irritating. Let me through. <laughs> Any day now, please. <laughs> I did not think this through. Yeah. All right, we're, we're good. So now I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make one more stationary battery. And I'm going to have to, I actually don't really need to make any more uh, heavy cable. I should have enough even to hook up another stationary battery over there. I believe it's 20 gold, which I don't have enough gold. Dang it. I wonder if we have enough gold over here now. I need more copper too. Because I need 20 steel, 20 copper, and 20 gold. I have enough copper. That's no big deal. Um, how much gold do we have? That'll have to be enough. Alright. So that furnace is still working pretty good. I'll probably have to vent the uh, gases here and uh, reignite it, but it's actually doing not too bad. All right, so 20, 20, and 20. Stationary battery, there we go. And 
and I'm going to call this episode in about 10 minutes, give or take. Um, hopefully there's sound on it. I'm kind of uh, have some PTSD now because we've done a lot and I really hope that there's sound for this video. And it's actually kind of irritating that that glass dome did not protect those solar panels. I'm kind of wondering if they weren't damaged already. I don't think they were, but I'm not 100% sure on that either. Whee! Okay, there we go. So for this one, I'll probably... I'm probably going to have to place this door somewhere else. Oh, I can actually fit in there. Okay, good. I need four iron sheets, don't I? Wait, is it four iron sheets? Is that what I need? Yeah, iron sheets. Okay. I I'm not used to having to actually build the, um, the battery. You never used to have to do that. So we need iron... Iron sheets. All right, I believe the sun's gonna come up here pretty soon. <clears throat> oh yeah, that's gonna generate a lot of power. I'm excited. There we go. Perfect. Then we'll grab that and this. And that's backwards. Of course it is. Dang it. Yeah, it's supposed to go like this. There we go. That looks a little bit better. Alright, now... Yeah, that's draining actually kind of fast. So hopefully the four rows of solar panels generates enough power to <coughs> for our base here. All right, but we have uh, it's been 61 days since we started this playthrough and we've survived 61 days without dying so I'd say so far we're doing very 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 well All right. so we should be generating power now so we'll see how uh, charge those batteries get although we probably won't see it this episode because I'm gonna call it here pretty quick but yeah, we've actually done quite a bit this episode. Um, I we actually did I actually did more than I uh, did it in the original video. In the original video, I I got all the atmospheric stuff done like this. Um, I wasn't able to actually get the air control done. I just manually filled uh, our pressurized room here with with oxygen. Well, nitrogen first and then oxygen. But yeah, I didn't actually get this part done, and then I did not get the other two rows of solar panels up there either. So we actually did a little bit more of this this uh, episode than I did in the original video. So, but yeah, in the next episode, what I want to do is 
get um, hydroponics set up so we actually can start growing food, more food anyways. I'll probably put that right here. I was thinking about maybe placing a, um, like a smelter so I can take all the ore, put it in a chute, and then have it just automatically get smelted by arc furnaces. I haven't decided if I'm going to do that yet. Although if I do it, I would probably place it right here. So maybe I'll put the hydroponics on this side. It doesn't really matter where I'm going to do it, but... Um, yep, so that's kind of my plan for now, is I'll probably put hydroponics over here and smelting over here. But yeah, I'm just happy that we have a pressurized base now, and then I'll start moving um, this locker and everything inside. But, yep, and then... I really like our atmospherics. This looks great. I love this. It looks so good. And I can even turn my light off and it's still light enough in here to see. That's spectacular. I think my favorite thing so far is this mining platform though. This is absolutely amazing. I love this. Looks so good and then I don't ever have to go out mining. Alright, and it looks like we are generating power. We are filling up both these batteries. This is up to three bars. This is up to a single bar already so we are generating power uh, I, I only need one more row, row of solar panels to have, make this complete and then I'll probably start placing solar panels I don't know if I'll do it on this main area I'll probably do it on um, the separate rooms haven't decided yet we'll figure it out but yeah I think I'm gonna call this episode here we've done a lot and it's been extremely fun and exciting so hopefully that there's sound in this video, but I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I will see you all later.